blind rivets are an extremely good way of fixing two thin pieces of metal together. In order to use them you will need a blind rivet gun like this. These are also referred to as pop rivet guns after the original firm that invented them. So you get the gun and you need the rivets which are like that. And you, you're also going to need a drill bit of a suitable size for the rivet that you're using. If we take a look at the gun you'll see that it has a nozzle at the top there and that is where we place our rivets. So that goes in there before you actually pull the mandrel back out using the rivet gun. You'll also notice that there's three other nozzles on the gun and they are for different size rivets. So whenever you choose the nozzle for the actual gun itself you need to choose a good fitting one. So for example that rivet there won't even go in there so that is too small of a nozzle it won't go in that one. It'll go in that one but it's extremely tight so that's no good and it will fit in that one perfectly. What you don't want to do is get one that's too slack so obviously if you put a small rivet in that one that is the wrong nozzle and that is also too loose so it needs to fit in there and it needs to be a nice neat fit. So that one is a nice tight fit so we know that that is the correct nozzle for that size of rivet. These guns also usually come with a spanner which fits on there and you can just unscrew the nozzle and then you can swap that for a different size one which is further down the gun here so you would just unscrew that and then screw that in there if you were using that size nozzle so we've put that back in there we'll just nip that up So once you've chosen the correct size nozzle for the rivet that you're using, you then need to choose the correct drill bit. So if we get that drill bit and hold it against the rivet there, you can see that that is roughly the right size. If you use a drill bit that's too big, your rivet will not hold correctly in the hole that you drill. So it's important that you choose the correct size drill bit. So I've now clamped the two pieces together and now I'm just going to put the drill through these two pieces. So we can now push the rivet into the rivet gun and if you just squeeze the handles gently it will grip the rivet and stop it falling out. So we can now push that through the hole and then we can then squeeze the handles together until the rivet shears off. So if we take a look from the other side you can see that when the handles are squeezed it pulls back on the mandrel distorting the rivet which makes it expand and then the mandrel shears off. So when you put that in the gun and you squeeze the levers it pulls this metal mandrel up which pulls that mushroom head through the rivet causing it to upset it which makes it expand and that actually grips it. The rivet is then stuck in there because the actual mandrel shears off at a predetermined torque. There may come a time when you need to remove a rivet and the best way to remove a rivet is to drill the head off. So I've got a, a drill here that is approximately the same size as the rivet head so if we drill that we should be able to drill the head off the rivet and then we can remove the piece of material that's fastened together.